Good morning, everybody. Welcome to San Antonio Living. I'm Shelly Miles. We have a show for you this morning. We're going to show you how to find some cool plates and platters at the thrift store or even at the hardware store and repurpose them into fun and different trays to use for charcuterie. Monica Nino is here from the Board Couple to help us out. It's good to see you. Good to see you. All right, this is a busy time of year. I mean, we've got holidays coming up. Absolutely. Spring is here. Summer is coming. And charcuterie is here to stay. It's the hot. Thing. <laughs> it is the hot thing. <laughs> and I love this concept. You can basically use anything Absolutely. and use it as a tray for charcuterie. Yeah, a lot of folks are doing spring remodeling right now, cleaning out the garage. Yeah. You know, even thrift shopping, you can find some of these. So I thought, you know, if you're doing a, a home improvement project, you're going to end up with a ton of leftover textiles. What better way than to repurpose them in a charcuterie board? It's also a fun way if you're moving into a new house to kind of do a, a welcome home party. Such a good yeah. idea. I love it. And height is key to. Yes. What, these are like old wine boxes. Old wine boxes. Okay. But of course, you can use anything that you have laying around the house to this give it a height. This is a piece of a roof this tile. Is a roof tile. Okay. So it's this one. You have um, some other different things, uh, wood over there that you can use, maybe some leftover stuff from the fireplace, not so cold anymore, okay. no need for it, repurpose it. Um, some other different textiles over there, flooring, whatever you have lying around the house, that's the fun of it. It doesn't have to be a wooden board, it can be anything. That's such a good idea, and I recognize this right away because you guys know my <laughs> husband's in flooring. Piece of floor, piece yep. of tile, and you know, you could put them together and create whatever kind of pattern you want and whatever then fill it up with charcuterie. Absolutely. So that's the whole fun of it. Just kind of coat it, wipe it down, coat it in something that's okay. food grade safe, and then you can go to town and build whatever you want on top of it. Okay. Shall we start? Yes. Okay. What's the first, like when I'm building a shark, I'm, I'm going to use these right here. I love it. When I'm building, what's the first layer, would you say? Your first layer of foundation is always going to be nuts. Nuts. So you're okay. going to want to put that down. Okay. Like I'm looking at yours for an example. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to do a couple of nuts right here. Yeah. And then maybe over here. Really the beauty is it doesn't have to be perfect and uniformed, especially when you're working with surfaces that are uneven or just a little bit different shapes. Okay. That's the whole fun of it. All right, and what's next? You can add some grapes kind of just down the center if you'd like. Okay, give me these guys. Yeah. Let's see how we're doing here. Fill it's already looking beautiful. Okay, yeah. You're a pro. All right. Do you want to dump some berries kind of in there in between the grapes? Hmm, like, okay, like yeah. in between. Go right. for it. Look at that. It's time, it, this is fun for the kids. It's a little creative, it's fun to get messy. It doesn't have to look perfect, so if it rolls off, okay. that's part of the fun. And then you can add berries wherever you want over there. Look how easy that is. And you know what, it's kind of like, it doesn't have to be perfect, no. right? Okay. It's perfectly imperfect. Okay. Good deal. Awesome. So then you want to just kind of add the pear in the back somewhere over by the grapes, wherever you see fit. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and add the cheeses. So okay. you want to do a savory side and a sweet side. Okay. So Blue, savory. savory. Yeah. Yes. Got that. Wherever you want over there. Yep. Okay. And then this is going to be on the sweet side, the brie. So I like that idea of keeping things together. So yeah. you've got your guests know like what is savory. What is sweet? What is sweet, yes. Okay. And it's also a fun like talking. That. Oh, I like your styling. Ooh, yeah? Okay. That's beautiful. <laughs> Look at you. Uh, and then the dried mango is going to go on the sweet side. Sweet side. So you can kind of do it as an accent over there. Okay. Fun part is the goat cheese. It's a little bit of a messy sport with the goat cheese wherever um, you want to stick it. I feel them. like it's going to go right here. I like it. Okay. Give it a little push in the center. Boom. Perfect. Okay. Like so. Yeah. And you're oh. going to add some peach preserve yes. on in there. Look at that. You're a pro. It's coming together you've done this so nicely. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Okay, All time right. for our meats. Meats, so if you want to scatter these, just kind of like wherever you see fit around the board. Okay. Very professional. I try. Those can go anywhere over there on the savory side. Look at that. Yeah. The ham, you can put it over here on the sweet, kind of by the oh, brie. I almost lost a ham. Oh no, ham down. <laughs> ham down. <laughs> Stay with me, ham. And then prosciutto, that's kind of a... Yeah. Switch hitter, you can put it sweet or savory. Okay. You've got your antipasto. Your board is looking awesome. Well, I try. I mean, heck. Very professional. Look at that. And really, this is what it's all about. Just kind of splattering things yeah. here what? and there. 
kind just of your just favorite chocolate oh, over chocolates. here. Yep. Yeah, that's gonna have to go right there. Yeah, just kind of just putting it all over here. As it all comes together, look at how fun that is. We didn't spend any money on no. any dishes because we used stuff that we had around the house, which is super simple. Now, if you don't want to do it yourself, we know some people who you can call <laughs> the board couple. They are here in San Antonio. They have a brick and mortar that you can go visit on Zarzamora Street. They've also opened up a new location in Comfort. It's at 804 High Street. If you've got questions, you can call Monica at 210-573-2100. You can also visit theboardcouple.com.